Greetings, Sekiro Goru here, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to kill Masataka Oniwa, the Horseman. And if you follow this guide all the way, you won't even get hit. You have to have ninja key ability. First thing you want to do is charge towards him when he shows up, as he'll start to ramble on about some garbage, leaving you with the chance to get six free attacks in straight away. From here, you want to constantly hold block, as you can block all his attacks until you find an opening. What you're looking for is when his spear gets stuck into the ground. Then you're free to attack him three times. After your third attack, hold block again. What about my posture, you're thinking? Well, don't worry, as his attacks are too slow. So even if your posture bar gets broken, you can recover from it before he can hit you, as shown in this example. If you're not comfortable parrying his attacks, you can just use the block method, followed by three hits when his spear gets stuck in the ground for the whole fight. He does have two unblockable moves that are indicated by the red symbol. They are a thrust attack, and another where he sticks his spear in the ground and drags it along the floor to grab you. But they can both be easily avoided by holding back and the run button to run away when you see the red kanji symbol. If his horse rears up while you're attacking him, that means you've stunned him briefly. So you're free to get four more hits in before he recovers. Once you've done the attacks, don't forget to hold block again instantly. You can grapple towards him when the green grapple hook symbol appears. You'll have a chance to stun him when you hit him with the grapple. So now's your chance to get in a full combo, right in his face. If you have the Shinobi Firecracker prosthetic, then you can use it to good effect against him, as it scares his horse, leaving him open for three attacks. Just remember to block again straight away after the third attack. In his second phase, there's a few other moves, such as a horse jump attack, but they can all be blocked the same way you did in the first phase. Basically, if you want the fight to be as safe and easy as possible, only attack him three times when his spear is stuck in the ground. Then hold block the whole time until this happens again. I hope this works for you, I really do. Subscribe for more tips and secrets, and click the link in the description or at the end of the video to watch a Rage and playthrough by my failed disciple, Throbstar the Dragonborn Coward. And remember, arrested ninja can kill with greater creativity. You're gonna get killed by a chicken this time, John Ninja? You fucking bitch! Dark Souls man wouldn't get killed by a chicken! What the fuck? How many more chickens are in here? It's like Zelda! What were you fucking piss a chicken off and they all come get you? What am I getting for killing these chickens?